What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are using one of my favorite Pokemon of all time. And actually, a lot of you guys have been asking me to use this Pokemon. We got ourselves Sceptile in Ranked Regulation H. Now, when it comes to Sceptile, this Pokemon is honestly mediocre. But to be honest, if you can get this Pokemon rolling, it can do some big time damage and be very strong at the same time. Now, Sceptile has the ability Unburden, which when you lose your item or use your item, you actually double your speed. So we're rocking Mirror Herb as item, pairing it up with Swagger Grim Snarl, trying to boost that attack, get rid of the item, making Sceptile super fast and super strong at the same time. Sceptile has the Flying Terror type with Leaf Blade, Acrobatics to pair up with no item, and then Outrage and Detect. Really like this moveset, really like this setup. Cannot with you, Sceptile, in Regulation H. But like I said, we got Grim Snarl on today's team with Spirit Break, Scary Face, Swagger, and Parting Shot. So I can do some damage. I can slow down opponents. I can lower attack stat. Plus, I got that Cover Cloak, which works oh so good on Grim Snarl. Our final full pro Pokemon on today's team going to be Malamar, Corviknight, Hisuian, Arcanine, and Primarina. Now, Malamar, a fun Pokemon to use considering it has the contrary ability. So any stats that are going to be lowered actually go up and anything that goes up now it goes down it's a weird ability but it actually works pretty well on malamar now malamar has the focus sash with the fighting terror type with superpower night slash and psycho cut corviknight's here to you know do tailwind things roost and kind of just pests around arcanine's a big time physical attacker with the choice man and primarina a nice special attacker with calm mind and a throat spray as its item guys you want to run the scene for yourself Run the code is at the top right hand corner and if you do enjoy today's video don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel but without further ado let's hop into match number one showcasing septile moving on to our first match for today's video we are going up against a porygon z team now i just used porygon z a couple videos ago if you guys haven't checked that one out definitely check it out this pokemon hits like an absolute truck so i gotta watch out for it on top of that they got hisuian zorg gotta watch out for illusion they also got nine tails they got whimsicott they got Gallade and Primarina. Um, I could honestly just go like Sceptile for the lead here alongside with Snarl, and that is honestly something that I really like. So I'm going to end up going into both of them, looking to rip up after it. I will go Corviknight for late game and Tailwind, because if they go Tailwind, I would love to go Tailwind myself. And last but not least, I think Arcanine could be better than Primarina, because I definitely want to either bring Arcanine or Primarina here. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to go Arcanine, especially a choice band Pokemon. Great in a late game great in the late game but if you guys have been watching my videos or if you guys just know me anyway you guys would know i like fantasy football and i and i keep up with the nfl for fantasy football well if you guys know thursday night football just passed and by the time this video goes out it's gonna be saturday and i'm recording this on friday so yesterday on my time thursday night football went bills versus dolphins and of course my opponent had Dolphins running back Devon A chain who dropped 30 on my dome. So I'm hurting a little bit. That really sucks for me because I start off my week really bad. And they start off on the lead. I'm like, oh man. So if any guys play fantasy football and went up against Devon A chain, let me know in the comment section down below. He had a crazy game. But of course I was versatile. Of course I was versatile. Dude is nasty though. Dude is nasty. But uh let's see who they end up leading here. Back to the action. Um, I'm kind of hoping we could just set up Septile. You know, pop a little swagger. Get a little mirror herb going, unburden, and just start attacking. I mean, I can definitely see Wimscott coming out here for a Tailwind play. And yeah, we're going to see Wimscott Prima Arena, which I do not mind at all. Um, yeah, now it's just going to be a simple Swagger play. Simple Swagger play. And then I can just Acrobatics. Actually, yeah, we're going to Acrobatics you down. Because you probably think I'm going for like Leaf Blade this turn. So yeah, I'm going to end up going Swagger this turn. I'm going to Confuse Prima Arena. Hopefully, we can waste a turn to, uh, to Confusion. That'd be massive. That would be massive. And the best part about this combo is, or at least for this lead right now, is they have two special attackers on the field. Because this boosts physical attack and confuses them at the same time. So, luckily it's a special attacker. So, we read that Terrasalization right there. They're going to go into straight grass, which is totally fine by me. A little bit of grass terror type. That's why we're acrobaticking the, uh, the Whimsicott down. And Whimsicott, what are you doing going for here? Are you not going for Tailwind? So I'm going to swagger and we're going to boost attack. I'm going to confuse at the same time. So now Sceptile becomes super fast. And I mirror herb. Awesome. So plus two Sceptile. We love this. And honestly, I might outspeed. I do. Are you sashed? You're not sashed. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Swimscott. So no Tailwind. That's huge for us. Because now Sceptile is like fastest on the field. And I can Acrobatic Sound as Primarina. Oh, lose a turn. Lose a turn. Help me out here. Lose a turn. Hot start, baby. Hot start for your boy. So I can acrobatics down Primarina. I can attack that next slot. But I'm sitting here plus two with Sceptile, which is looking gorgeous. It's looking lovely. And they don't have Terra anymore. 
they use it. So Lola Ninetales comes out here. Um, I could always just like party shot here if I want to. I could go into like an acrobatics if I want. I got a lot of different options. I think you're going to protect Primarina. That's my only problem. I really do feel like you protect Primarina. So I am going to go Leaf Blade here. And I think I'm just going to double down into this slot. I think it's just our best call. I think you protect Primarina. I think we're just going to send acrobatics. Yeah, you're going first. You're protecting. You're protecting. That's fine. We read it anyway. We read it anyway. We, we, we read those all day. We read those all day. Leaf Blade launching. Bop. Bringing you down low. Grimstone, can you outspeed? No, they do get off the war belt. That's okay. I mean, Acrobatics should still probably KO the Primarina. And I'm hoping the Spirit Break can finish off this Ninetales. Can it finish it off? Really? Really? 1 HP Bandit? That's fine. We'll just launch Acrobatics into this slot. And we'll just go Spirit Break. I mean, I could Terrasalize to get that stab boost, but I mean, Acrobatics is just doing ridiculous amount of damage. See? There's just no need to Terrasalize. So pick up the KO there. Chances are you're going for a Blizzard, which kind of sucks because I want to keep my Sceptile alive. But Sceptile might eat up this shot. It's kind of a lightweight, though. It is kind of a lightweight. It soaked it! 7 HP, we love it. Spirit Break gonna finish you off. And what a hot start for us in match number one. They got one Pokemon left, but Sceptile going nuclear. It's going nuclear right now. It's going nuclear right now. That is huge. So, one more Pokemon for them. Chances are they run this match. And it's gonna be Hisuian Zora right here. So, I'll go into a Stab Leaf Blade. On top of that, we'll just Spirit Break. Should be no problem. GG's, right? Yep, battle was canceled. We start things off 1-0. So, guys, our first match was perfect. Sceptile dominating match number one, popping that Mirror Herb, doing monstrous damage. Now we're hopping into our second match, and we are going up against Incineroar. Tough little Pokemon, especially when we're using Sceptile. On top of that, they got Alolan Ninetales, they got Sinisha, they got Swampert, who's dope. And then Electabuzz with Komo'o. Now, do I think they lead... Incineroar, there is a possibility there. But I might just go Malamar. I think just going Malamar could be pretty good for us. Especially if they do go Incineroar, we could just get things started off hot. So I'm going to go Malamar here. I'm going to end up going Primarina. That is something I do like. And then... Bum, 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 bum. Late game, we're going to go Arcanine and... Corviknight or Sceptile? I mean, one or the other. I think we're going to go Corviknight. We kind of just showcase Sceptile. So we're going to... We're going to flip-flop it here. Plus, I don't really like Sceptile here with... Uh, with Ninetales and Incineroar on the team. It looks a little rough for him, right? I mean, we could Terrasalize into Flying, but still. That means Ninetales still can hit it like an absolute truck. But I just feel as they're going to lead Incineroar, and that kind of puts like a puts some rain on our parade for Sceptile. Because if you lead Incineroar, then we start off minus one. So if we Mirror Herb, I mean, actually, we would Mirror Herb plus two. Yeah, I didn't even think about that. But then he could fake me out. It'd just be, it'd just be a whole mess. So let's see who they end up leading here. Is it going to be Incineroar? It is not. And Cinema would have been nice though because I had contrary Malamar. But Primarina is going to come out here with Sinistra. Now, Machigacha is definitely scary. I do have a Throat Cut, or not Throat Cut, uh, Night Slash here, which I could send in the Sinistra slot, which I am going to do. And I think just like a Calm Mind boost here is in our best interest because I don't think he goes for Machigacha turn one. I think he might just go for like Rage Powder and a War Veil. So I'm going to set this up. But no, War Veil is going to come out here turn one. You're going for Machigacha. This can do some damage. This could do some damage. Night Slash is going to launch. How much damage are we doing here? Not that much. we got to start boosting our stats. There's a the Machigachi. Gotcha. That's what I was scared of. I should have Terrasalized turn one. Like, the damage is just absurd. Look how much damage it did on Primarina as well. Got a lot to pre. Did a bit too much to Primarina. Wow, you go back up to full HP. Absurd. So, our Calm Mind's going to boost here. Um, our Special Defense is up a little bit. Hmm. What is our play now? How do we want to do this? Could just protect here. Could terrestrialize you, but in the grass is just ugly. In the grass is ugly. Let's see what he wants to do with uh Are you dropping a blizzard? That is a real question. Are you dropping a blizzard? That can eat up another Machi Gotcha. I think we're just going to send another Night Slash and just protect here. Kind of tough for us, to be honest. I mean, Sinistra just does so much damage. I think it was the last video I used it. Absolutely kicked it, but, I mean, Moonblast going to fly here. I should have attacked. I should have Terrasalized attack with Pre. I should have. Hmm. Now, how do we play this? Now, how do we play this? 
Machigot's just scary. I mean, I could go into you and just Flare Blitz. Yeah, I'm gonna go into you. I think I am gonna Thrasilize. I think I'm gonna Thrasilize Primarina. I mean, Flare Blitz should still do respectable damage, especially if they don't Thrasilize the Sinistra. It could get ugly. But I'm gonna Flare Blitz the Sinistra. I think we need to get rid of that thing. And then we're just gonna Thrasilize you and go into a Hyper Voice just to pop Throat Spray. And kind of get going from there. So let's see. Let's see how this one plays. I wonder what uh, Ninetales is doing. I just don't want it sending a Blizzard. I doubt it's sending a Blizzard, right? It's going to end up withdrawing Ninetales. That's fine. That's fine by me. That's fine by me. And who are you going to go into? Incineroar, maybe? It is Incineroar. Okay, so, I mean, Third Spray or this uh, Hyper Voice should be able to do a nice chunk of damage. Should be able to do a huge chunk of damage. So we Terrastalize into Grass. Well, I'm going to swap Arcanine next turn, though, and just protect Primarina. Because they're going to see this and get boosted like crazy. It's a grass typing coming out from us. Uh, Matcha Gotcha's definitely flying here, right? Boy, what's going to go first? Give me a crit or something. That's some good damage. That's some great damage. Through the War Veil. Through the War Veil, that's great damage. And there's the Matcha Gotcha. So, Arcanine's going to take decent damage here. Let's be honest here. And Primarina soaks rather well. It's good to know that we do outspeed. It is good to know that we do outspeed. This thing's gonna get back a little bit of HP. Hyper Voice is gonna launch. How much damage are we doing to Incineroar? Decent chunk of War Bell is just insanely strong. But it popped Third Spray, which is even better. The Third Spray popped. Um, this thing's gonna leftovers up. I think we still just rock up Flare Blitz. I think we still just rock up Flare Blitz. I mean, you could fake me out. But I could just get rid of Sinisha at this point. The question is, who are you faking out? I, I think we should just double down here. If you fake out my Primarina, you fake out my Primarina. If you fake out my Arcanine, then... I mean, we should be able to pick up a KO regardless here, right? Unless they swap out. I'm just gonna stay on the field. I mean, maybe we could swap Arcanine next turn. But that Aurora Veil, man. That's bad news, dude. Aurora Veil is so good. It's so good. Like, honestly, we probably should have two KOs on both these Pokemon. But the sheer fact that a War Veil's on the field, like, stops that is insane. And it didn't just stop it. It stopped it by a landslide. <laughs> like, it's not even like they're down to, like, one HP. It's stopping them a lot. But they end up faking out my Arcanine. Which is, I mean, fine. I mean, can we survive this Macha Gacha? That's a, that's our one thing. And Arcanine's gonna dodge it. That's massive. Same thing with Pre. That's a huge turn. That's a huge RNG turn. Thank you, RNG. So we get rid of Incineroar. We keep our Arcanine. I can swap Arcanine. No Arcanine is minus one, but that's just a huge RNG turn. So thank you, RNG gods. Thank you, Poke gods. I appreciate it. See, I, I don't let those things go unnoticed because I know RNG is tough sometimes. It's brutal to me, but when it, when it happens good to me, I, I always acknowledge it. So Poke gods, I appreciate you. I appreciate you. All right. Who else are you going to go into? You're going to go back into Nine Tails? I could see that happening. Definitely a possibility. You're gonna go into swamps. The swamp's gonna come out here. I mean, Flare Blitz this slot is hands down. It'll probably be outspeed. And Moonblast down swamps. Gotta be it. Hopefully, Primarina outspeeds swamps. Because what I'm thinking here is Flare Blitz is gonna go into uh, Sinisha, take it out, and Swampers is gonna take them out. And you're gonna end up going for a wide guard, which is a little silly if you ask me, right? Because we're not going for any of these moves. So, Flare Blitz, bye bye, Sinisha. Get it all in out my face. Primarina, plus two. On special attack, gonna send a moon blast. Not gonna KO the Swampert because of a war veil. But it's still gonna do some nice damage. So we went for the Y guard. Big mistake. Okay, we love half damage. Half damage is great because another one will KO. Now our one little problem here is going to be the speed of this Pokemon. I might swap Arcanine. Get E speed choice band back. Yeah, that's gonna be my play. So I'm gonna swap Arcanine. Um I can't get off a of Moonblast, that'd be nice, but I think we just die out to... I think we just die out to, what's it called? Actually, we could protect this turn. I'm gonna protect. So I was gonna, I was gonna say, yeah, Blizzard just KOs us, which is a little, a little tough for us. I'm gonna go into Corvo, so Corvo's gonna fly out here. 12 of night. They might be going for a ground move too, so this could be a good call on our end. So I end up protecting the pre. He's gonna go for the Blizzard. 
And I have an odd feeling that this is going to freeze my Corviknight. And I'm going to be very upset. Please don't freeze my Corvo. Cool. Liquidation is going to fly. We're down to half, which is actually kind of tough. Um, I'm going to go for this Iron Head here. And if I can Moonblast the Swamper down, that'd be nice. I still got Choice Band E-Speed. Blitz is going to launch. Primarina ends up surviving, which is huge. No freezes. That pretty much puts us in a position to win this game. So, I mean, that does good damage. Moonblast is going to finish you off. Turns into a 3v1. I still have Arcanine late game with E-Speed. Puts us in a really good position. As long as Corviknight can just eat up another Blizzard, right? Which I might as well go, go just go for Roost here. So I'm going to go for Roost. I am just going to go for a Moonblast here. And he's going to go for Blizzard. Corviknight soaks it on three. So... what I thought. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Thank God, I forgot about the Lumberry. Thank the Lord. Thank the Pokey Gods. I thought, I forgot about the Lumberry. But I told you guys, I had a feeling that we were going to get frozen. I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming. I, I, I seen it from a mile away. Aurora Veil's gone. I was going to win this one regardless. But still, we, I, I was just sitting there. I was just like, perfect. We soaked that. We're going to win the game. And then a Freezy Pop happened. Not cool. Not cool at all. So now we can just soak up shots. I can go into an Iron Head. I can go into a Choice Ban Extreme Speed. And we're going to start this video off 2-0. So kicking it right now with the Sceptile, Sceptile Squad. First match, we use Sceptile to its fullest potential. Second match, we use everybody but Sceptile. So pretty cool. Actually, is this Ghost Terror type? This was Shroomy Over. Cool. Thank you. We still win this game. Surprised he didn't, he didn't use Terra a little bit ago. But still, E-Speed should be able to finish this off. It's not Stab, but it is Choice Ban. And that's plenty enough. GG's, we're sitting 2-0. Third and final match is here. We're looking for a perfect record. And we're going up against one of the coolest teams I have seen in Regulation 8. Just all dope Pokemon. Volcarona, Dragonite, Azumarill, Raichu, Breloom, and Scissor. This looks like a team that I would potentially use it on like a playthrough. It's just such a dope team. It really is. Really cool Pokemon. But um, a lot of speed going on here. They could definitely lead Raichu, which is a little scary. But I am going to go Sceptile and Grimstar and look to kind of just get after it that way. Actually, you have a ton of physical attackers. We're still going to give it a go. So Sceptile, Grimstar coming out here for our lead. In the back end, Arcanine is actually great here. Rock moves, fire moves. Works perfectly. So we're going to bring Arcanine. And last but not least, do we go Corvo or do I bring Primarina back for another match? Looking at the team. Hmm. Looking at the team, I've made a decision. With the fourth overall pick in the ranked double battles regulation H, match number three, Team Jeans is proud to select Primarina! Give me Primarina! Give me Primarina! Give me Primarina. Happy to have Primarina on the squad here. Primarina. Lit it up in her, in her college days. Dropping Calm Minds left and right. Moon Blast. Hyper Voice with Throat Spray. You name it. Any situation you need Primarina in. She's here. Picking up fourth overall in the draft here. Alright. Zoomerel rides you for the lead. Don't mind. It could be better. I mean, Fake Out's scaring me just a tad bit. Um, Belly Drum is scaring me a tad bit. Huh. Who are you going to Fake Out is a real question. I think I might just detect this. I'm just going to detect this. Fake out, because I'm going to read it going in that slot. We're just going to swagger up onto Raichu. Looking for this. Looking to get that unburdened pop. Looking to get that unburdened sizzle. So the tech coming out from my Sceptile. Please fake it out. Do not fake out my Grimmy Grim. I have Cobra Cloak on Grimmy Grim anyway. Everything works out good. So there's a little bit of block action. Totally forgot about my Cobra Cloak. And Swagger's going to launch. So Ducky's all around the head. Ducky's all around. Quack, quack. Plus two Sceptile. He's going to be beautiful. And Azumarill, you, you dropping a play rough maybe? Or are you belly drumming? What are you doing here? Yeah, that's what you're doing. That's what you're doing. And guess what? Guess what? I know exactly what you're doing, though. I know exactly how it's going to play out here. You're going to Terrasalize next turn in the grass, and I'm just going to take you out with Acrobatics. It's, it's as simple as that. It's that simple. Unless you can kill me with Aqua Jet, but... Mmm, I don't like that. I know you're trash in the grass, though. 
Do I lower that thing's attack first? I could just confuse it. I could just confuse it, which I am going to do. But I already know what's happening. Are you protecting? I didn't know that. <laughs> oh, God. Leave me alone. You bolt switching out of here? Is that your play? Is that your play? Protect. Oh, man. Leave me alone. Ducks, do me a favor here. Make right you hit itself. Nuzzle. Nuzzle, really? Really nuzzle? Is, is, is that how we're playing? Is that how we're playing? Alright, you know what? Screw it. Leaf Blade. Scary face. We're slowing this bad boy down. I doubt you're going for Aqua Jet. And I doubt you're Trasalized now. After you just see me launch an Acrobatics in that slot. I need to get rid of this Azumarill. <laughs> this thing is terrifying. He's gotta go. He's gotta go. Got to go. You know which all right you? Who you going into here? What's it called? Volcarona is gonna come out here with Rage Powder. You are terrestrializing. Oh my lord! Is he gonna be Grass? Did I just read this turn too late? Steel. Okay. I mean, actually, not bad. Not bad. It's not bad that we actually swapped. Scary face gonna launch. We're gonna slow you down. You wanna slow me down? I slow you down. We can play that game. You are aqua jetting. Bye bye, Grimmy. Oh, Grimmy survives! And Leaf Blade launches. Not very effective, but the damage is huge. You can't rage powder me, which is massive. So I'm gonna do this, and uh. I'm just gonna party shot out of here. Into Volcarona. So we're probably gonna protect. Oh, you don't protect. We're gonna party shot out of here. We're dipping. We're dipping. We got unburdened. I'm dipping. This might have been a bad call for me because I think Aqua Jet might just be flying into this slot. <laughs> um, actually, it could be Heat Wave. He's gonna attack Sceptile. You wouldn't. There's no shot. There's no shot. Your Aqua Jet in this slot with for three HP with the Zoomerel. I just don't believe that's happening. I do not believe that's happening. Plus, we get off Intimidate, which is pretty good. All right. What you got cooking here? Aqua Jet in this slot. You soak this. You soak this. You outspeed too. You outspeed too. Come on, Sceptile. Come on now. Come on now. That is huge. That is, that is as big as it gets. That is as big as it gets in this match. That's that's massive. I don't mind our Sceptile dying. I do not mind because getting rid of that belly drum. Oh my lord. It's huge. It is huge. Um... We're going to pre here. Yeah, we're going to go into pre marina. Because to be honest, they're going to go back into Raichu here. They're going to fake out my Arcanine. We already know what's happening. And I'm going to set up a combine boost. Yep, there's Raichu. They're going to fake out my Arcanine. I mean, I'm going to try to choice ban into Rock Slizzle here. And I'm just going to set up combine. I mean, you're minus one. You little bug fire type over there. But I'm going to go for this Rock Slizzle. So if you fake out my Primarina, that's fine to me. Rock Slizzle can do some damage. They're probably just going to swap out Volcarona here anyway. Fake out. Yep. I told you guys what was happening. I, I already said this. What was happening here. I already said what was happening. So you can Quiver Dance all day because I'm Calm Mind Boosting. So I am Calm Mind Boosting. So you go for Quiver Dance. There you go for Calm Mind. Quiver Dance is just like an upgraded Calm Mind. Because you get the same boost as Calm Mind, but on top of that, you get a speed boost. Quiver Dance is just so good. But it kind of, it, it works well because only only a few bug types get it. So I'm just going to go Hyper Voice here. He's going to nuzzle me. We already know it's happening. Nuzzle into Pre Marina. Go ahead, do it. No, Giga Drain. Oh, wait. I thought that was Raichu for a second. I was like, wait a minute. There's Nuzzle. Oh, into Arcanine, which is cool. I mean, we're going to take out Volcron if I could just land this Rock Slizzle. That's all I have to do. That's all I have to do is land this rock slide. And I have an odd feeling that we're going to be paralyzed this turn. But I feel like RNG has been kind of good to me today, so it has to make up for it. And we're missing rock slides. At least it hit Volcarona, so Volcarona's dead. Alright, so half RNG there. Half RNG, we'll take it. <laughs> we'll take it. Take, yeah, you, you gotta learn to take what, take what you're given, you know? Breloom comes out here as the final Pokemon. And I think just ripping a Moonblast and going for more Rock Slizzles is play. 
Because Rock Slide should be able to do monstrous damage to this Raichu. Raichu's such a lightweight. So I think we should be able to take it out with a Rock Slide. e -Web's gonna fly here, do respectable damage. Breloom, are you just gonna take out Primarina with like Bullet Seed? Seed Bomb, maybe? What you got? Close combat into the Arc. So Arc's gone. Arc's gone. Not a big deal, though. I mean, Hyper Voice still does some damage here. Hyper Voice still doing some damage. Room Blast launching. Oh, I thought I used Hyper Voice for a second. You're sashing up. Okay. Um, how are we playing this one? Special attack drop does nothing. We, all we have is Grimmy left. All we have is Grimmy left. Now, we have to outspeed this breathing. Grass Terror is definitely a play. Save my Terror for this moment. We're gonna go Grass Terra. Um, I could confuse the Raichu. I could parting shot the Raichu. I could parting shot the Broodloom here as well. What do I want to do? I think I might just parting shot the uh, the Raichu. Or should I swagger? I mean, it's special attacking. We're gonna swagger this thing. Look, look for a little bit of RNG here. So we'll finally use our terror. This was a perfect time to use our terror too. A perfect, a pristine time to use our terror. And we're gonna go into grass. So I took Primarina with my fourth overall pick. She's looking to prove a starting spot. Really, just gonna protect that. That's fine. That that's totally fine. I think you're looking to slow me down a little bit. Is that your play? Swagger's gonna launch into you. Get some ducks cooking. You hit yourself in confusion, Epi. Really big for us. I'm all on ducks. A little bit of RNG on our side. E Web's flying, so. RNG not helping us out there. They do take out Grimstraw. Um, I actually might die out here. And the problem here is a 1v1 now. I really wasn't expecting Breedlim to protect. This close combat might be able to take me out here. We don't even care, Raichu. So all we need to do is just get off this hyper voice. Gotta click it. It's our, our only shot here. Raichu could hurt itself in confusion. But I mean, I think a close combat might lose us the game. Let's see. Nope, this thing's just landing nuzzles and everything. No problem. So paralyzed Primarina. We just need to soak up this close combat, and I don't think it's happening. GG's. Close combat. <clears throat> Came down to the wire. I'm upset. I really wanted Primarina to get that win. I definitely did. But that protect for Breloom was the play of the game. Won it for him. GG's to our opponent. We went 2-1 for a winning record. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Sceptile rocking out in ranked Regulation Age. I loved everything about this team. Sceptile, Grimstraw, Malamar, Corviknight, Primarina, and Arcanine. All amazing in today's video. Just such a fun team, especially using Sceptile. An off-meta Pokemon that you don't get to see too much and grabbing yourself a winning record in the mass tier. Speaks a lot of volume. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today. I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.